In this video, we shall be looking at the part two of how to move live WordPress sites to localhost. We have already done the part one, which is um, the video we had, the first video we made. And you can get that video from YouTube. You can watch it. All you just need to do is type how to move live WordPress site to localhost ZAMP. And this is the video which you already have here how to move live WordPress site to localhost ZAMP. You can watch this video, so it gives you a guide on how to move live WordPress uh, site to localhost server on your computer. So once you've watched this video and you've understood the process, then you can now proceed to part two of it. I don't want the video to be very long, that is why it is broken into two parts. We have the part one, which is this one you are seeing here, and also the part two, which you are watching at the moment. Now, for us to begin, it's important that we install our ZAMP. So you navigate to apachefriends.org slash download.html. And then you look at the Apache ZAMP server you want to install. There are various versions. We have the one of uh, version 8.028 slash PHP 8.028. So you have various versions of it. You can download any of them that you want. I already have it installed on my machine, so I wouldn't want to waste our time with that. So having said that, let's initiate our ZAMP. So we have our ZAMP running. For us to proceed, all we need to do is to start our ZAMP server. So I'll click on start. Starting our Apache. So you click on MySQL to start it. So the MySQL have started. Now, because we have downloaded the package, it's important that we have to create our database first. And then we will now migrate the archive, which is the package we downloaded from our website using Duplicator. We will now move it into the ZAMP uh, folder. But for now, let's create, our, let's create the MySQL database first because it's important we do this so you click on admin mysql admin so you have the mysql admin here come down to new database and then type a name you want to uh and i'll Anatole, I use the word Anatole D, Anatole D, so you create, so if you look at it here, we already have Anatole D on this part of it here, so the database has been created, so having done that, let's now move to our ZAMP server. So you already have our package downloaded from our previous video. So click on this package and then you can use copy or you can cut it. But I prefer to copy it just in case there is an issue. I won't lose the file. So come down to drive C, which is where my ZAMP is installed. So you have your ZAMP here. Click on your ZAMP, double click on it. So come down to your HTT docs, double click on it. So create a folder. So we'll call this folder uh, uh, to lady 
So Anatole D is the name of the folder. Double click on it and then paste your package. So having done that, you already have your package copies to a folder inside your HTT docs. And here we will now initiate our installer. So come down to your web browser. Come down to your Apache, click on admin. And type the name of Anna Tole D which is the package we created, I mean, uh, the folder we created, you slash installer dot PHP. And then you enter. So now, is asking us to enter the name of our database. And what is the name of the database we created, which is this very one now, Anatole D. Anatole D is the name of the database. So it is very simple. You can copy the name and then come down to your database here, where you have your database, you paste it. Anatole D is the name of your database. So you are using your local host, which is the server in our machine. So it's used known as local host. Come down to our user. Normally in ZAMP, the user is usually root. So you type your root, R-O-O-T, your root, your database password. Sometimes you may be asked to configure password at the cost of installing your ZAMP server. Why in most cases there is no password, but in my own machine, I have configured a password on it. So you enter the password for your ZAMP, the one you have on your machine. So I type my password and then I validate. So having validated, you can see everything is okay. General pass, file system pass, PHP pass, database is the version of our database. Notwithstanding, that's not an issue. What we have here is MirrorDB, but what we are using is MySQL 5.7.43. Uh, it's not an issue, it will still work. So switch to advanced mode. We are in order. Click on validate again. So let's proceed because we are in order. You click on I have read and accept all terms. Click on it and then you say next. So run installer with these settings single site until a D. All right, we are in order. So, okay. So it is now extracting the archive. This will take a while. So archive extraction is completed and here we are, it will show you this window. So we are in step two or four, which is install database, we click next. So the installation is completed. Scroll down.
and click next so the process is completed and looking at what we have here general notice good file status good database status good search and replace status good login good so and one other thing you must take note of is to click on this check mark make sure it always it is always checked which says auto delete installer file after login to secure site recommended so ensure that this part is always always checked now for us to proceed all we need to do is to click on our admin login and then i already have the password here and then a login so you can see here it's saying this site has been successfully migrated so the process is now complete so to view our site to know if it is working all you need to do is click on site the site is working so thank you very much for watching